Hello. Let's take a look at the headlines. President Buhari told West African leaders that greater cooperation is needed to end insecurity of N. Plus, Secretary General Jen Sturtenberg says NATO will not reduce its support for Ukraine. We begin the news this afternoon with a report that President Mohamed Wari has told regional leaders that Greater Co Region. A statement issued by Senior Special Assistant and Media and Public City Garba Shahu quoted the President as saying, The ever evolving nature of the threats the West African region faces underlines the need for groups to expand their operations and footholds in West Africa. According to the statement, the president spoke at the lunch of the French version of his biography, Mohamed Bouari, and 160-meter-wide boulevard named after him by the government of Niger Republic. Universities to generate revenue for themselves without depending on the government's large coffers. According to a statement released and signed by the ministry's director of press, Blessing Adams Lere, the minister poor results are credible funding proposals for tertiary institutions. Fashola also noted that collective funding of education is needed by various levels of government and not exclusive to the federal government. We move to the legislature where the Senate, through its Committee on Ethics, Privileges and Public Petition, has called for a thorough investigation into PT Chairman Senator Ayo Akinye Lure urged the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Umana Okonomana, to address the cases of unemployment and employment racketeering in the NDDC, which were allegedly perpetrated during the time of his seat, Abola Ajayi, specifically alleged that the employment in the NDDC was sold for various amounts depending on the financial strength of the applicant's family. The petition for the accused officials of the NDDC sold to the highest bidders. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives has commenced investigation of the Memorandum of Understanding between the project what $475 million. At the plenary, the House resolved to mandate its Committee on Information and Communication Technology to investigate the status of implementation of Phase 1 Technology Infrastructure Backbone Project 1 and 2. The House also urged Galaxy Backbone Limited and the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning to immediately hold all certificates of comp. These resolutions were based on the unanimous adoption of a motion moved by a member, Benjamin Ben, titled Need to Investigate the Execution of the MOU Between Gal. We move to judicial matters where a federal high court in Lagos has stopped the establishment of the proposed national carrier Nigeria Air by status quo in the suit relating to the establishment of the airline. The judge made the order pending the determination of the suit filed by the registered trustee that it would deploy every necessary step to vacate the order that had stopped the ongoing work towards the establishment of the national airline. According to reports, the judge ordered that the national carriage Meanwhile, the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has adjoined a case filed by former Governor of Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha, processes and presented their arguments for and against Okorocha's preliminary objections. Reports say Okorocha, in a motion on notice filed on October 20th, had prayed by the EFCC into his activities while in office as Imo State Governor between 2011 and 2019. On electoral matters, GAP published after being approved by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The Commissioner for Information and Voter Education of the Independent National Electoral leasing the guidelines and selecting a new secretary for INEC. 
Okoye stated that the two documents would be made available to political parties, civil society groups, the media and other key stakeholders. And back here, the chairman and CEO of Media Group, owners of Planet FM, Spectrum Television and Tank Show FM, Tony Proper Information, create a better understanding, particularly to the indigenous people across the state, and help the people in making the right choice about the forthcoming elections. Spe has gained the trust of the people, and so it is the right place to send trustworthy information where it will get to a large targeted audience. Speaking for the fair urge politicians to make use of the platform provided by thank based campaigns. He also used the opportunity to advise the citizens to vote wisely come 2023. People that actually do the vote, they're in the villages. That's why Tangsio cottage of the people that is going to vote, they're, they're listening to Tangsio now. I think we've gotten that listenership. I, I stand corrected. I think we have this listenership of over 90% of the people in this state and when remove it cost money. Now, instead of you taking that money and inf coming to inform the people, the people that actually... Meanwhile, as part of efforts to eliminate violence against women and the girl child for global action to increase awareness, promote advocacy and create opportunities for discussion and challenges and solutions as International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women is marked today with a theme, Akinu Yo define violence against women as any act of gender-based violence that results in physical, sexual or psychological harm or suffering to women, whether occurring in public or in private life, at all ills. Recall that women's rights activists observed 25th November as a day against gender-based violence since 1981. The United Nations General Assembly also on the day invites government and the scourge in order to achieve a fairer climate for women free from all forms of abuses. Who was tried in absentia for high treason. The 64 years old Zambi named as the arch opponent to current president Azazi Asomani faces charges related and entrusted to him by the Comorians. Comoros public prosecutor Ali Mohammed Njone before the elite state security court is demanding live imprisonment for some dollars under the scheme. But Sambi French lawyer Jen Gills Halimi said there is no evidence of the money and no account discovered. Meanwhile, Sambi still in Africa. A coup attempt has failed in Sao Tome and Principe, a small Gulf of Guinea island named a statement said four men, including the former president of the outgoing National Assembly, Delphine Neves, and a former military officer who had already attempted a coup in 2009, were arrested and tried after an attempt to attack the army fired, as well as detonations for two hours inside the army headquarters in the capital Sao Tome during the attempt. Speaking ahead of a NATO foreign ministers meeting, which will take place in Bucharest, Romania, at the end of November, Stoltenberg said NATO will continue to stand with Ukrainians at the Bucharest meeting to help Ukraine transition from Soviet era equipment to those of modern NATO standards, as well as support military training. According to the U.S. made Patriot air defense system to Ukraine a national decisions. And part of Ukrainian homes have been slowed by strong winds, rain, and sub zero temperatures. The firm said the power has been restored to critical infrastructure facilities in all regions. Boiler houses, gumption needs are now covered. Reports said there is still a deficit of electricity in the system, and consumers would lose access to electricity at times under plant and emergency consumption season and successive waves of strike have left much of the country facing rolling blackouts. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President, President Vladimir Zelensky says there is no schism among Europeans when it, Zelensky said Russia can still employ different forms of terror 
as they still have enough missiles, rockets and bombs to kill people every day and provoke new difficulties for Ukraine and all of Europe. Injury time to beat 10 man wells. Just stay with us. from the business news where project coordination unit of the economic community of west african states have provided fruit fly surveillance materials and physiosanitary equipment to the federal government to help restart the export of select as well as cut down the loss of fruits and vegetables across the country the commissioner for economic affairs and agriculture ECOWAS, mazande tuare this closed days in Abuja while presenting the reinforcing and strengthening the performances of the surveillance system as well as the phytosanitary inspection teams in the FMARD for fruit flies monitoring. Meanwhile, oil marketers have issued a stern warning to the public asking them to expect to buy petrol at any price. Marketers, under the urges of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, said Nigerian Nigeria. Meanwhile, the spokesperson for the Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria, Clement Isong, had said the association had held a logistic meeting with the NNPC to find a solution. We move to health where the federal government has pledged a proactive measures to forestall strikes by doctors and other health workers by reviewing the salaries, Labour and Employment Minister Chris Ngie gave the hint when he hosted a delegation of the Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, in Abuja. The NMA was led by its president, Dr. Uche Ojim, AMDA, Nusa Ure, among others. During the meeting, the NMA president listed the challenges facing doctors in Nigeria, especially the review of the consolidated lingering issue has continued to linger. Still in health, the Minister of Health, Dr. Osage, he met the call at the news conference in Abuja ahead of the commemoration of the December 1st, 2022 World AIDS Day. World AIDS Day is an international day annually celebrated to raise awareness of the AIDS pandemic caused by the spread of HIV response status and planned for the upcoming year. The day was first observed in 1988 to United and work towards ending the spread of the scourge. The theme of the 2022 World AIDS Day is equalized to end AIDS, equal access to treatment and prevention service. Sports where former Black Stars captain Asamoah Gan believes Cristiano Ronaldo benefited from a contentious call for his penalty goals against Ghana in their 2022 World Cup Group H game at the Stadium 974. Put out Ronaldo's opener from the sport. Osman Bakari headed in a left second goal for Ghana, but the Portuguese held on for a nearby win against the team that raised the hope of Africans. Before facing Uruguay in the last group game on Friday, December 2nd. Still in sports, he ran scored twice in injury time. Rubes Chesmi and Ramin Rizan scored in injury time as Iran beat 10 man wells today. An IR star has been criticized for wearing a provocative dress to the Meta concert held in Lagos. The female singer, who was one of the performers of the night, wore a short skirt, a small revealing top. However, Mavin Records have reacted to the fans, stressing that. The fashion in the music industry is not like others. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, all of which you can find on our website, spectrumtv.ng. You've been watching Spectrum News. I am Francis Edit. Many thanks for watching and have a lovely weekend.